In Iran, the fashion police are targeting people who are dressed in Western attire. Okay, so they're worried about women who are wearing headscarves that are too snug. Okay, mm -hmm. a little too tight, or women who roll up their pants. Okay, showing off their ankles, heaven forbid. Whoa! <laughs> heaven forbid. Yeah, okay. yeah, I know that's but, what's going on in Tehran. People are like, ooh, check out her ankles. Mm. But the part <laughs> of the story that I love the most is that men are also being targeted now because they're getting Western haircuts. And one of the haircuts that they're getting is a mullet. Uh, right, but but here's the amazing. They should be targeted for that. Here's the amazing <laughs> thing about this story. Okay, Jake, you once said that as soon as the government legalizes something, it becomes uncool. Right? In Iran, they have made the mullet illegal, and they made an extremely uncool thing become extremely cool. That's it, man. It's, it's unbelievable. It's true, and this you know relates to the drug conversation we yeah. always have. Like in some countries, they make heroin legal, but you got to go into a, like this clinical area surrounded by a bunch of doctors and taking it feels so uncool so hair and use has gone down right. okay so in this case they're like you better not do mullet mullet very illegal they're like oh my god mullet is so cool <laughs> I know, I <laughs> like know. the only people in the world who think a mullet is are cool is cool is now iran <laughs> okay and apparently they do this thing called the rooster Okay, which is which like is, spiky, it's just spiky hair. I know, which is also sounds kind of questionable. But they've made that illegal, so now the rooster's hot. Okay, and but you know, they, the, there's 70,000 of these policemen that go out looking for the wrong kind of ankles and the wrong kind of hair. Okay, and if the scarf is pulled back too much and they can see a couple strands of hair on the woman, oh, they're like, forbid. oh, they're like, what is the matter with you? I see hair that turns me on in your ankles. You have to go to the dress right away. I am too, I am beside myself. By the way, the treatment of uh, women versus men is hilarious. Okay, it's not hilarious. It's actually very sad. But with the men, they get a little slap on the wrist, like ah ah ah. You better chop up that mullet, right? But with the women, they send them to jail, and they of have course. to they have to yeah. stay in jail until family members come with clothing that's deemed acceptable, and they have to change, and then they have to sign a contract promising that they'll never expose their ankles again. Right. Whereas guys don't have to sign a contract saying they'll never make the fashion mistake of having a mullet again. <laughs> okay. Look, this is what happens when you restrict freedom. You get these absurd laws, and it's never going to work. I mean, sure, it can work for five years, it can work for 20 years, 50 years. You can bottle it up, bottle it up, but in this day and age, it's getting shorter and shorter period of time that you could, you know, oppress people like that. Right. And eventually, they bust out in mullets. Okay? You just can't contain the mullet or the rooster. So Iran is on a losing track, or the government of Iran is, and it's sad because the Persian culture is amazing. It's one of the greatest cultures in the world, and now they've made the mullet cool. What happened to Persian culture?